There are certain inalienable rights that we as Americans enjoy because those rights are protected. And they're protected by soldiers in battlefields halfway across the world. So whenever I see a miscarriage of justice involving a soldier, even if I've never met them, it feels intensely personal. And I get quite upset about it. And this is another such case. This is the case of Army First Lieutenant Clint Lawrence, who is serving a 20-year sentence for a shooting in Afghanistan, a shooting that he and his family say was justified and that the U.S. government decided it wasn't. Except now it's becoming quite apparent that a bombshell bit of evidence may have been hidden and could end up exonerating the soldier. Joining me now to talk about this case are Lieutenant Lawrence's parents, Anna and Tracy, and his attorney, John Maher. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you for having us. Um, I, this, I followed this story through a mutual friend of ours, Bev Perlson, who was giving me all the information about this. And this comes down so much to rules of engagement, which we're going to get into. But, you know, Anna, I wanted to ask you about your son, Clint Lawrence, because this was, he volunteered to go over and serve his country. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about how he got involved with the military. Um, he was watching the events of 9-11, um, and that's when he made his mind up, that uh, he knew that he wanted to, and he had thought about the, the military, but he made his mind up that day when he watched it, the events unfold. And uh, he said, I got to go to do what I can do to protect you and to do what I can do for my country. And, um, you know, Clint served 10 years uh, with his whole heart. Mm -hmm. He served 10 years. And uh, he served uh, 15 months in Iraq. And through his whole career, I watched him serve proudly, um, feeling that, that he was doing what he could, right. you know. And uh, it meant a lot to him. Uh, even in his home, he lived the military rules. You know, after his court martial, um, we went and was having to pack up his home, you know. and. And uh, I got tickled because his sock drawers and everything's military, you know. <laughs> and, and since this has happened to him, I have had so many bo people that have served with him that just cannot believe this has happened. And they tell me that Clint made a difference in their life and they feel like Clint is the reason why they're who they are today. Um, and different ones telling me different stories of incidents and, and things that, uh, the ways that he had helped them and pushed them to go. Right. And, uh, or just been that one friend, you know, that was strong and been a strong friend. And so people all over the world that has served right. with him stand with him today. And you know, that means a lot to me because they tell me the son that I know. Right. And uh, you know, our, our, the, the boys and girls that serve in war, in war together, um, they become brothers. They do, they do. And they know each other just like a family member knows them.